I'm about to edit a 48 hour film project. But before I do, let's go back to the beginning. <laughs> Introduce yourself. Hi, I'm David John Jeffrey. I am the director, producer, and writer of this little short film we're doing. And uh, why films? Sorry. Why films? Why films? Yeah, why make films? <laughs> yeah, perfect. Okay. I could tune that up for you. If, uh... No, don't worry about your Do you play, yeah? Yes. Do you play any chords at all? No, so we'll just... I know a few chords, but... Just pretend to put your fingers on different beat strings and we'll, we'll, we'll fake it. Looks pretty all faked it to me. Mm. People ain't got a tray with some water in it, like developing. That's a very good point. Are you going to do the bedroom scene then? Don't, don't worry, it's covered. Okay, I'll come back to work. Okay, I'll come back to work. Yeah. Hello, this is yeah. the British lady, Mrs. Yes. Corey. <laughs> okay. Right, so um, guys, let's go down to the park. Okay. okay. Gary, how many can you fit in your car? I was filming this fish for a sec. They're like, oh yes, you do not have permission to film me with my likeness. Well, on this occasion, it's one of those ones where, like there was a shot in it where I wanted to look as if this guy was taking photographs of this person. So in my head, I imagined you'd have a shot of the photographer, him pressing the button, and then you'd see a flash on her face and when she's talking, and then her camera would freeze for a second, like a photo, and then we'd go back to the photographer, taking these photos over and over. And I thought, is that really going to work when we actually edit it? The first one looks good. I'm doing a whole bunch of them, but we'll have to see how it goes. Listen, I, I trust you. I know that you can do this because you, you, I've seen you perform under pressure. Might be a slightly outside of your stick. Maybe put the camera down. Uh, the camera. Maybe put the, um, the, uh, the, the thing down for now. Just try and focus on... I'm, I'm with you on this, actually, because I do agree. It needs to be faster paced. I know. I've got to do it by tomorrow at 7 p.m. Uh, in my head, I always think spend a day filming and the next day do the editing. But today, because I finished so early, I'm able to edit a little bit before I go to bed. Okay. Maybe even do a first draft. Uh, we were really lucky because, or unlucky, or like really tight with the filming because all of our cameras ran out of batteries at the very end. And I was on one bar on my camera, and we got Great. the last shot in on one bar. A lot of shots of mine are overexposed, but the reason I overexposed it is because I didn't like how my camera, when it's low light, has kind of makes this kind of grainy effect. So I thought if I slightly overexpose it, the images will look sharp and crisp, and then I can like turn down it and post. Lucky for me, we're not using any of these shots for the film itself. This is all for the behind the scenes. Indeed. The behind the scenes might be longer than the actual film. Behind the scenes will be longer for an actual film because we're still filming it. <laughs> it's going to be like, the behind the scenes is, the, is a feature length <laughs> and the, the main film is a short. Exactly. A week ago, before we were given the um, genre we had to do, I was saying to one of my best friends, oh, yeah. I really wanted to do a melodrama soap. I was desperate to do one because I haven't ever done one and I really like the style and I wanted to come up with something new and so I said, so my friend said, well why don't you just do a melodrama anyway, it doesn't matter what genre it is 
And that's what it would be better if I could get picked it because it's harder then to come up with something, especially you get a special one like your paranormal and then you have to do a melodrama that's paranormal, it's harder. It would be better if I got it. And then when they did the random sort, they picked melodrama for me. Soap. Which is exactly what I wanted to do. So I was really excited. I think they were, they were a bit surprised that I was actually excited to do a melodrama because it's obviously not the most popular choice. It's so brilliant! It's brilliant, man. <laughs> um, it, it, it lip syncs as well. But the thing that I was yeah. thinking of, you might need to have the sound of like nature or the, some some sound of like the actual noise in the background. No, I can do that. Yeah, you, yeah. no, I'm going to do some Atmos at the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You always, he always edits like David Day. He gives input to me, but it's always like the second edit round. So like the first edit, you just clip up the clips and make sure you have got a good story. Then the second edit, you come and you make all those final tweaks of Atmos, grading, that kind of stuff. But I'm not going to do it on the first edit, I've got to put it all together first. I oh, see, I suppose it's, everyone has their own way of editing. I guess the, one, the way I edit is, I try and be as quick as I can so I can see it. Sorry. And put everything in there and then fine tune it. <laughs> oh, we, we need more footage. We're about... Seven seconds extra footage we need. How are we going to do this? David Day? What's that? We need an extra seven seconds. An extra seven seconds? Mm. Because although those shots worked, I need to bring them back to the point where he sings about the picture on the wall. So, I need more footage of him playing guitar, I guess. Listen, here we go. Oh, it's broken, I'm tired, right. Look, watch this. I always see this compared to the lyrics, yeah? Watch this. Now sit in the back of my car and strumming on this broken guitar and What I asked everybody, John, was what's what was their name? And then I said why films? Yeah. And then I said I was like, I don't have a clue. <laughs> I don't know why films. And then everyone gave a different answer. I've always been a fan of the arts. I love the art. Emily said... My mum always took me to plays when I was a child. I love being another character and not have to think about my problems for X amount of time. Yeah. And that's what really got me into acting because it's very therapeutic and I'm not Emily Carpenter for a certain amount of time. I think about the character's problems, not my own problems. Oh, that's fair enough. For her, it's escapism. It's like... You for her to be an actor with problems is a way for her to escape from her own problems. Exactly! It's a, yeah, instead yeah. of doing drugs or alcohol, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Acting that's is good. my drug. Yeah, that's right? good. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. I was like, okay. Um, and then the other, and then... Um, I said I didn't have a clue. <laughs> you, said, you said something like, I have to get back to you on that. Or something like that. No, I didn't. I said... Why not? No, okay, so... Um, <laughs> I'm a very creative type. I enjoy music. I'm, I'm a musician. I DJ. Uh, I do uh, photography. So it only fitted at some point I'd end up dabbling into films. I've been doing this now since 2011 and enjoying every second. In fact, I've been doing these 48 hour film competitions nearly every year of, since 2011. When I did my first film in 2012 for, an, for the sci-fi film competition, which is called Outline, we did set some, a scene where, now look at that, Time always is. on the phone. Why don't you just block his number? Well, I'm curious. I mean, he could just be a shy bloke and he could be really nice. Yeah, yeah I mean, you haven't put the intro stuff there, have you? Yet? No, I haven't put any of the intro yeah. stuff. And that, that would take time, I was going oh. to do work on that tomorrow. Yeah. And I've got loads of music to put in, loads of sound effects and stuff, and edit it oh, up yeah, properly. Of course, yeah. So, what do you think, first draft? First draft, um, blah, blah, blah. I like, like horror movies, like The All Conjuring right. 2, which was filmed up in Enfield. I oh. like thriller type movies about stalkers mm. and everything. I now walk along and it's cold without you. Yeah, but is it along or alone? Along. This road, I now walk along and it's cold without you. 
and action. This road, and now walk alone in its cold without you. I've always loved films. I didn't know that one day I'll become an actor. That is, uh, if I'm being honest, I never thought I'll be an actor. But I've always loved films. I've mm. been watching films, uh, films that I shouldn't have been watching because most of the films that I was watching growing up, like James Bond and <laughs> American Ninjas and movies <laughs> like that, they were age rated. But as a child, I was watching them. Okay. Uh, fortunately, I was watching them illegally because I didn't ask for you consent. Can't say that. <laughs> it's all on camera yeah. now. It's yeah. all on camera now. It's all on camera now. Yeah. You know, yeah. I was go very back. good. Go I never watched anything until yeah. I got to the right age. My favorite film ever. Yeah. Is uh, Scent of a Woman, Al Pacino. Cent okay. Uh, and I cannot point to anything specific that made it. Uh, my favorite film, but every time I watched it, it's like I've seen something new in that film. Oh, I was oh. like, oh yeah, I like that, I like that. And cut. And as soon as I say cut, action, you go. Okay. I really like you. I like you too. And hug. <laughs> and stop. And again, we did hug. And cut. Cut. You're not running fast enough. Cool. That did. In particular, I'm a singer. Oh, right, cool. Um, a tribute artist, Neil Diamond tribute artist. Oh, wow. uh, I love country music, so it's funny we're doing a, yeah, I'm playing yeah. a country singer. If you were to speak to your younger self, what would you, uh, what would you say to your younger self? He's interviewing S Gary. Start, uh, start in, uh, in, in, in the industry sooner. Well, I used to binge watch horror movies yeah. um, when I was younger, and I actually had the time. Now I have no time. There'd be a pause of like, Five, ten seconds, you have no idea what's happening in the next scene, and there's only. Mm. Ah! Yeah, yeah. You're being dramatic, come on. Well done, that's it.